I'm Shyam Vardarajulu. I'm a medical gastroenterologist at Orlando Health Digestive Health Institute and I officiate as the president of the institute. I am also called as Dr. B. The DHI is fairly new. We have been in existence only for about two and a half years. We want to have a broad platform of very, very good general gastroenterologists. We have a team of subspecialists, doctors capable of doing high quality research that will answer the questions for the next generation. We have also subspecialty training programs for advanced endoscopy and liver. So at the end of five years, I want to have a comprehensive team that is probably the best in the southern United States and one among the best in the United States or even anywhere in the world. My typical day usually starts at around five o'clock. I get up in the morning and most days I go for a run for five kilometers. I come to work at 6 a.m. I have my coffee. Uh, I will go through my patient charts for the day. I review for a lot of journals, so I may review some papers. I might draft a few paragraphs for a manuscript or even a few lines. Dr. V, yes, we're ready for okay. you. Okay, all right, let's go. Okay. Then my endoscopy time starts at 7.30. I perform about 12 to 15 advanced procedures every day and then uh, I will continue to perform procedures at least until 4.30 in the evening or up to 6 o'clock. We deal with a lot of cancer patients on a daily basis. Uh, we also do a lot of clinical trials on these patients with, with our patients. Therefore, uh, it's very important to introduce ourselves. We review the charts uh, very thoroughly. We engage in a deep conversation. When patients come to the Digestive Health Institute and when they leave the unit, they will leave with a diagnosis. They leave with a plan of care. They will leave with a follow-up appointment, of our referring doctors are completely aware of what is happening. And during the day, I will have several meetings. I try to accomplish this in between my procedures. Uh, my meetings are very brief. I you don't believe in having meetings for more than 15 minutes because in 15 minutes, you cannot come across something. Uh, you can spend hours and still you will have the same outcome. We also have symposiums around the year. We conduct four symposiums and they are evenly spread throughout the year. So I would spend about five to 10 minutes talking to the different staff uh, who run these symposiums on what we need to do. Meeting with the nursing staff on a periodic basis for an advanced endoscopy unit is very critical so that you will have an idea on what type of recruitments that need to happen to keep the unit on the cutting edge. You want to make sure that they have access to the best technology so that we can provide the best care for our patients. I will sit down with my endoscopy staff every day to look at the patient flow, procedural volume, so that we can plan for expansion by endoscopes and so on. I spend a couple of hours every single day on some research-related activity. It could involve enrolling patients in clinical trials, analysis of data, and drafting manuscripts for publications in peer-reviewed journals. The Digestive Health Institute has been in existence only for the last two years. But in this short period of time, we have published close to 50 peer-reviewed manuscripts and concluded three high-quality randomized trials. We have the real ideal infrastructure of physicians who are specifically geared for doing this kind of work. Our aim is to find the least invasive options for the most complex diseases that will result in cure and prolonging the survival of patients. Being a large healthcare system, we are uniquely geared to meet this need. And we pride ourselves because we do the largest number of randomized trials in pancreatic biliary diseases in the United States than any other center. Our research have paved way for advances in management of pancreatitis and also in pancreatic cancer. And it is very meaningful research that we are able to advance science in this direction. Because it fundamentally changes the way we will treat pancreatitis. The best part of my work is to come each morning and to see my partners. Uh, these are people that uh, just didn't drop from the sky. These are people I've known for 15, 20, 25 years. And that's why when you work with people, you love the most, you like the most, you enjoy working the most with, you can build world-class things. The person who trained me, uh, Dr. Haas, was actually my attending physician in South Carolina. And we have been together for the last 25 years. I have another colleague, Dr. Bang. She was in fact my intern at UAB. She's been with me for 15 years. I have Dr. Mel Bullcox and uh, Mel offered me my first job when I came out of my fellowship at uh, uh, UAB and it just so happened uh, that when I joined Orlando Health, uh, I still have them and many of them came joined us 
to build our team then at around 5 o'clock i'll come and have a cup of coffee in my office and then i will start my clinical research and that's around 5 or 5:30 in the evening and that will go on until if it's a good day i'll be done by around 10:30 or 11 at night but most days it'll be 12 at midnight or 1 a.m when you do clinical research you want to perform research that is meaningful i want to be at the cutting edge of pancreatitis clinical trials i want to perform the best research in tissue acquisition in pancreatic cancer and you want to come up with something that will directly improve the quality of life of our patients and hopefully will result in cure of diseases and meaningfully extend their life i know that what i do is a small building block and probably in 20 years this will be forgotten but today what i do is important so that the world can build on what i have developed and that will be something for which there's no exchange for being content and being happy in an organization like orlando health this is a top priority for us